Uh, very good morning, my dear children, and welcome you all to the EVS class. As you all know, for the month of December, before we go into our holidays of Christmas week, this is our time for the last time revision of the chapter Clothes We Wear. I would want you all to pay attention. Along with this, complete all your work that is pending since July till December of EVS, Maths and English. I hope and wish you are continuously writing in your copies as we will be asking for it very soon in the school. And as part of your assessment, which will begin in January, as I will be telling you in the interaction, please continue to do regular reading. The question answers can be asked from anywhere. Before we begin today, a step ahead of all that we wear, as I've told you in the clothes that we wear, we talked about the different material of clothes. Today, we are going to uh, see an informative video that is going to tell us why wearing different kinds of clothes in different seasons is important. So shall we begin? Let's go ahead. Human beings cover our body with clothes. Clothes protect our body from dust and bad weather. Well-fitting, neat and comfortable clothes also improve our personality. We wear footwear such as shoes, sandals and chappals to protect our feet from getting hurt while walking or running. Remember to wear proper fitting footwear as too tight or too loose footwear can damage our feet or affect our walking style. Need for clothing Clothes give us protection from heat, cold, rain, strong sun rays, snow, insect bites and dust. Clean clothes protect us from certain infections as they do not allow the germs to come in contact with our skin. Well-fitting and clean clothes give us a smart appearance. Clothes for every season. Can you think of wearing a thick sweater on a hot summer day or a light cotton shirt on a chilly evening? And wouldn't you get completely drenched if you don't wear a raincoat when it is pouring? We select our clothes according to the climate or the weather condition of the place we live in. Summer, Spring You created a business. Now, create videos for your business. People wear light-colored, loose-fitting, and comfortable cotton clothes. These keep the body cool. Tiny pores help air to circulate freely, also absorb sweat easily, and make you feel cool and comfortable. Winter People wear thick woolen clothes such as sweaters and coats. These keep the body warm. They do not let the body heat escape. Wool is the best fiber for such garments. Rains or monsoons. Rubber or plastic material rain coats and or umbrellas for protection against rain. 
when a raincoat is worn over our regular clothes. It protects us from rain by not allowing water to pass through and thus keep us dry. Rubber footwear such as gum boots are also worn in monsoon. Clothes from fiber to fabric to fashion. Today, we have a range of materials to choose from. Cotton, silk, nylon, linen, wood. So I hope this much you have understood and till this much is important for us to remember about the kind of clothes we need to wear, okay? Please make sure the clothes that you wear at home, you take utmost care of them Every type of cloth which is made out of a different fabric needs a particular kind of care and it is our duty that we need to take care of them likewise. Okay, we now move to our worksheet for the day. All right, so as I told you, we are moving to our worksheet. This is the last worksheet of EVS, worksheet number seven. Quickly move to this worksheet and it states clothes we wear, worksheet number seven. Write your section E. Today's date is given 21, 12, 20 along with your full name in cursive writing. So I hope the video that I showed you all, you have been able to recollect a lot many things from the video and it will help you to revise the topic of clothes we wear and how keeping care of your clothes and the fabric it wears with or it's made with is important. Please make sure that you're following all the details as I have informed you, okay? And only thing it's going to help you is to um, know the chapter really very well. So we begin uh, with the first question of the day. It says, Guess the word with the help of the clue box. Moth balls, washing machine, iron, laundry basket, hanger. You use me for keeping dirty clothes. So what do you use me for keep, keeping dirty clothes? Where does mommy keep uh, dirty clothes? Right. Mommy keeps the dirty clothes in laundry basket. You will write it here. L A U. I'm just going to show you how you're going to do it for the rest of them. And then you can take it up. D R Y. Laundry. And then basket. B A S K. See, again, I'm unable to write it here. So you will have to do this a little better from your end, okay? B-A-S-K-E-T. Words should not be flying, okay? Laundry basket. I protect your clothes from insects. Now, these are mothballs. What are mothballs? Mommy will show you at home. Not to be touched with, you will not touch it. They are chemical balls which are kept in between the clothes so that, you know, animals or, uh, sorry, insects of any kind are not spoiling it, okay? So the insects should not spoil the clothes. That's why moth balls are used. So please write moth balls here. I'm unable to still do it. You can use the word which is given here, okay? Next, we move down. I clean your clothes. Of course, it is the washing machine, which perhaps everyone has at home. But when we were growing up, and I'm sure some mummies are still doing all the hard work, um, we were using, you know, mummies or grandmoms used to wash the clothes in the house. I clean your clothes. So we have talked about that. I make your clothes 
crease free what is the meaning of crease free when your clothes are all crushed and uh, you feel or hey, this clothes is not worth wearing outside what to do then you say mummy iron kar do that is what it is it's an iron that you use your you can write i r i hope i'm able to write o n iron full stop you use me to hang your clothes certainly this is the hanger which is last left h a n g e r please make sure that you are adding it there okay right we move ahead choose the correct option what will you do if you see a poor girl with torn clothes again let us read what will you do if you see a poor girl with torn clothes what is the meaning of the word torn it means phate hue clothes so there is a poor girl who is wearing torn clothes phate hue clothes what will you do to her one help the girl by donating old clothes your old clothes which are then you know you're not using it but still are in a wearable state are you be helping the girl by donating old clothes or tease her like you know oh your clothes are so torn you are so poor no this is the correct option we never misbehave learn the right things my dear children howsoever you see in and around you sometimes at home which is happening wrong but you do not please learn anything which is going on wrong in and around the house or anywhere okay because learning and being a good human being is more important than anything else what will you do to wipe your running nose your nose is running you are unwell what do you do wipe it with handkerchief or wipe it with the hand you many of us do it don't we in the school when it is really the nose is running we quickly wipe it when nobody is watching we feel and we wipe it on our clothes wrong always use a handkerchief always good to carry a handkerchief take the objects that help us in keeping our clothes clean okay now as we were reading tick the objects that help us in keeping our clothes clean cross out the wrong ones moth balls of course they help to keep our clothes clean tide yes used to wash clothes rin of course helps us to keep our clothes clean lysol is for cl floor cleaning so this doesn't help us vim bar is a soap which is used to wash your dishes okay so my dear children till here is the thing please make sure that you complete your worksheet send it across to neha ma'am i'll see you back in the next class till then stay safe bye bye